Jeez, already failing. Gonna get it to take two. <clears throat> Dollar microphone wasn't exactly uh, perfect for the situation. Actually, I just didn't want to move it. I'll be honest. So, I'm going to show you how to uh, install a plugin that I made and do a couple things with it. I'm going to start with one thing first. And the plugin is called Stream Extras. And you can find it on GitHub uh, by searching Stream Extras. Or you can go into the Touch Portal Discord, find it in the pinned messages in the Stream Extras channel. So, we're going to download it, which I actually already have it downloaded. We're going to, you know, Click it again just for the sake of it. We're going to install it. It is not installed yet, so this is kind of a, a uh, make sure everything's <laughs> recording. <laughs> so uh, we are going to install it. It's not there, so we're going to import it. Stream extras .tpp. It actually did save my settings from the last few minutes of me doing this and messing up and coming back and doing this again because my microphone was all messed up it was way too loud so anyhow um you're gonna put your twitch id in here youtube id we can skip that for now that's for another video wait time it, de it defaults i think to three maybe by the time you get this it might that default might change i might change it to just be a 10 so there's no mess up in things but don't worry about that. That has nothing to do with anything right now. That's uh, another feature that we'll walk through later. Um, auto save, leave that as on. So our next thing we're going to do now that we have it installed. Forgot. Touch portal plugins. You have to reboot touch portal. Almost always. You have to reboot it. And load it back up again. Because it's like rebooting your computer. Whenever you install a new program, 9 times out of 10 it asks you to reboot your computer to make sure everything is okay. And this is one of those things. So we're rebooting Touch Portal. We're waiting for it to open up. A firewall, you can't see this because it's on the other screen. Of course, you want to tell it yes. Um, you may get a pop-up from the plugin telling you, do you want to allow this plugin to run? Yes, you definitely do because otherwise it's not going to work. So Stream Extras is going to be on this side. You'll find it down here on the list now. It comes with two categories, actually. There's Stream Extras, there, and then Stream Extras list. So we're going to go through, um, for this video, in this case, we're just going to do lists. Okay? We're going to go Stream Extras list. SE stands for Stream Extras. And then we are going to pick random line from a text file. That's going to be the first thing that we're going to do. What this is going to allow you to do is, I mean, there's so many very, there's so many ideas that you could do with this. So many things you could do. Um, and we're going to use this same idea and feature later on in a welcome message uh, thing that we're going to build together inside of OBS without any graphics or PNGs using nothing but OBS color sources and shapes and uh, some brain magic. So anyhow, we are going to pick a random line from a text file. In this case, we are going to make a file on my desktop. You can make it wherever you want to because you're going to tell Touch Portal where to uh, find this file at. We're going to just call it test. Okay, we're going to call it test. This is a text file called test. Go to our desktop. And we're going to find test. And for value 1, there's 5 values. So, it's this plugin currently, in its current state, is able to pick a random line from 5 different text files at a time and it not overlap the value of one another. So, they can always stay independent, basically. So, we're going to leave this at 1. And then to showcase this, um, well, see, this is the mistake that is commonly made. Forgot to put a name on here. It's going to be pick random from file. So we're going to pick random from file, test.text, value 1. What is value 1? When we type in dynamic text updater this will update your 
uh, your button text every 500 milliseconds. This is a very well known and thoroughly used feature in Touch Portal. In this example, we're just going to make it appear on the button so we can just see it happen. And so you know how to add this value to other things as well. So pop in, hit this plus symbol. You can use this in, in a lot of places. SC random from file. Here's your one, two, three, four, five. So we are, we're doing one. So we're going to pick number one. And we're going to put a text in here. So it has a title all the time. We're going to call it pick random one. So I'm going to bring up the window here and refresh it. And it shows pick random one. Now there's nothing there yet because it's the variable is empty. It, I haven't pushed the button. Nothing's happened, so it's blank. So I'm going to go into... Alright, so this file has got nothing in it. For every line, for every message, or every topic, or every image, whatever you want to use this for, whatever randomization you want to use this for, everything should be separated per line. So in this case, we are just going to pretend that we're you know, starting to build out our welcome message. And so we are going to put some just basic phrases here. Like, hello, how are you doing? You can literally do whatever. These do not need to be numbered, should not be numbered, unless you want those numbers to appear in the message. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different lines. I saved it. We're going to minimize this. And now we're going to click this button in my Touch Portal app application. Instead of using my actual tablet, I'm going to actually click it on screen here so you can actually see it happen. Click that button and there it goes. It grabbed a random line from the file and it just so happened to be hi welcome to the show which is line two. So we're going to hit this again and we're at line five. Um, so this is just a, a good way to do just a very random very random uh, pick. So instead of a uh, randomized value, we're going to use bingo 5 and go 0 to 10. Instead of doing something like this, one bingo 5 changes to 1. So instead of doing um, 10 different if statements or when, when the value changes statements, you can just hit that button one time and it's going to pick from that file. At any point, you can change or add to this, you know, and edit it on the fly without having to worry about anything. That is the basics of that, to pick from a file. You really need to know about um, this portion of the plugin and adding to a file and pulling a random line from it. You can do this with up to uh, five text files, as I said, with you know lots lots of information. You could use it for random images that you could then tell OBS to change a browser source to that local file as an image or videos. Other than that, check out the other videos which I'll be posting here soon, which will um, help you use this plugin a, a bit more.